Hey, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I'm doing an updated version of how to back up your QuickBooks. Recently, the last time I did, I think I was in version 2014. Today, I'm actually going to do it in the new QuickBooks 2017, so that this, it looks exactly the same pretty much as 2016. But if you have a newer version, this is how you're going to do a backup. So you can go File, down to Backup. I recommend making sure if you're going to back up to an external drive that you plug it in before you click create backup so that you don't have to kind of start over. So if you have external drive, plug that in, go to file, backup your company file, create a local backup. Now you have two options. You can actually back up online. There may be fees that apply or you can back up to your external drive. You can back up to your computer and then upload it to the cloud if you want. That's all up to you put it on Dropbox or something like that. But I do recommend having it on an external drive. Don't do your backups directly on your computer because if your computer crashes and that's where your backups are, you will be in trouble. So local backups, click next. Then you're going to browse and find your external drive. If you are like me and you have multiple folders, I recommend creating a folder called QuickBooks Backup. Click OK. Then what this is going to ask you is do you want a date and time stamp on there? I highly recommend so you know which one it's what time frame it's from. You want to do multiple backups. The second part is if you have multiple backups after three, do you want it to let you know so you can not have multiple? That's up to you. I typically actually just back up for quite a few times before I start deleting them. And then this is if you have a local backup. I always recommend doing a complete verification which is what's recommended you click OK you want to do it save it now or you can do scheduled backups we're gonna actually save it now click next find where you want to save it so for me I actually have my QuickBook backups click open click save and then it's gonna go in and actually save it that's as easy as it is if you have other questions feel free to comment below when it's done, it'll let you know, and you just click OK. If you want to get these tips and tricks every week in your inbox, up above as well, I will, on the I, on the right, I will put a link, and I send these tips and tricks out now every two weeks. So if you don't want to miss them and you want them in your inbox, feel free to go to the link. Have an amazing day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.